What the study showed is that the patients with diabetes had less tough bone than non-diabetic patients. So coming back to the DEXA issue, uh, you know, DEXA basically measures bone mass, how much bone is there. It tells us nothing about the quality or the material properties of that bone. And this then adds information that the quality of that bone is clearly abnormal in, in patients with diabetes. It couldn't be assessed until very recently uh, where we now had access to this new technology which allows you to, me to measure the material properties of bone uh, in live humans. And so our ability to assess that really led to these findings that uh, patients with diabetes, in fact, have worse mechanical uh, properties of bone or bone material properties, which would increase their risk of fracture. It's a, it's a very clever approach. Uh, uh, basically, over the shin bone, once the skin is numbed, the instrument actually creates a very tiny crack in the bone. And it measures how deep that probe in that tiny crack, and this is on the order of micrometers, so not even visible to the naked eye, but how deeply that probe can penetrate into, the, into bone. And based on extensive animal testing and other uh, studies, uh, it's been shown that the deeper that that probe gets into bone, the less tough that bone is, which makes sense. We looked at 30 patients with type 2 diabetes, adult onset diabetes, for at least 10 years because we wanted to be sure that if, we were, if there were problems with the bone, that there had been diabetes for long enough uh, for them to become manifest. Uh, a small proportion of them had fractures. We didn't include or exclude patients with or without fractures. Uh, and then we matched them by age to 30 non-diabetic patients with very rigorous screening criteria for presence or absence of diabetes. And in these two sets of patients, then we did DEXA, we did other advanced imaging uh, uh, testing, and also the bone material uh, testing. And we found that the diabetics had about a 12% reduction in the bone material strength. And based on animal models, that's about, uh, that corresponds to about a 33% reduction in the toughness of bone, which is fairly substantial. A patient with diabetes had a higher fracture risk than a non-diabetic. So that said, that for the same amount of bone, the diabetic patient is fracturing more. And it pointed to the bone itself being abnormal. That was the hypothesis. And that was the hypothesis we... What it, what it says is that bone and, it, you know, and the skeleton really becomes Add, it needs to be added to the list of diabetic complications. Tested and it turns out it was correct. There are a number of theories as to why that is based on animal studies and some additional work that we're proposing, but one leading idea is that it lead, diabetes results in the accumulation of what are called advanced glycation end products, which is basically sugar molecules being added on to uh, various tissues, in this case bone collagen, and the addition of those sugar res residues affect the strength of the collagen, and they may also affect how the bone cells function. So they don't work as well in that diabetic environment, and collectively that leads to the impairment in bone quality that we see.